utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine tickets. No, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we're going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find some. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Uh, this way, please, gentlemen. Uh, Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. You arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Santa Ni High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I'm a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Ah, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves, and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any. Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, 
As a guest? Yes. As my guest? Bah! Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Ok, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. Eh. <ride> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. If you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good night, sir. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to rob. Bill? Go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name. Nobody knows we're here. Gentlemen, you have to be well. I mean, the modern arms are very well, but my daughter is a small. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly, not from this swampy hell. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you. If that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Gentlemen, how do you do? Would you like tickets? What? This cabaret show at the Theatre Ramour. It's jolly fun. No such thing. Mr. Lemieux, I suggest it. Sure. It's got a duty to take care of people living in this. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Good evening. <laughs> well. <laughs> Je vous salue. Preaching again, Mrs. Wicklow. Yeah. Really is a beautiful hair. Mm. Oh, God, Mr. Ross, he's the finest milliner in the state and quite the most interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell me one, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. It's a fact. Undeniable. Demonstrable. I will not deny it simply because of fact. I'm intrigued, sir. To hear your argument. I'm French, sir. Sort of. Originally. I'm from Quebec. But I left many more. <laughs> I came down from New York for a job. I'm a banker. <laughs> you okay? My lord. <laughs> the pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, Algin and Moss. Hello. Uh, Cassin is Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. And a seat in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. Have you considered Lemoyne National Bank? Oh. I pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. Delicious in a bad year town. <laughs> we handle more cash and cash equivalents than any bank in south of Manhattan, including...
It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, what say you and me cool off? Hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Need to rejoin. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord.